the Newberry Medal award-winning book that I chose to do this book trailer for is Sarah Plain and Tall by Patricia McLaughlin. What happens when a family of three is in search of a person to fulfill the void that their wife and mother have left behind due to an unfortunate passing? Will the family be able to convince this person to stay or will the situation be too much for that woman to handle? The title of this book is Sarah Plain and Tall and the author's name is Patricia McLaughlin. Some background information on the Newberry Medal Award is the Newberry Medal was created to, and I quote, encourage original creative work in the field of books for children, end quote. It is a prestigious honor for an author to write an award-winning book and has understandably been awarded to many classic books. I think this book in particular, Sarah Plain and Tall, uh, not only fits the category of original creative work, but also does it in a way that is captivating not only for myself when I was reading it, but also for that I uh, also I believe for children as well. The descriptions of the environment that the book is set in and the events that happen makes the reader feel like they themselves are living the story. The genre that I would categorize this book is a historical fiction because the people and the locations that the book's events takes place can easily be real. Um, also, the situations that are involved in the book uh, can also be considered as real and may have happened to um, uh, any particular family. Uh, a quick synopsis of this book is this book is set in a time that I would say is around the 1800s or the early 1900s. Uh, the book is about a family of three, a father and his daughter and son, in search of a woman to fulfill the void that the children's mother left behind when she unfortunately passed away giving birth to um, the son. The family eventually finds and meets uh, a woman and tries to convince this woman to stay uh, to help fulfill that void. Uh, as the book goes on, there are different um, situations and things that lead the reader to believe that Sarah, who uh, is the woman that would be the addition to the family, may or may not stay. Um, some of these situations uh, are that Sarah uh, misses, new, uh, misses her home in Maine, uh, which is, of course, by the sea, so she misses the sea, she misses being close to the coast, um, and uh, where the story takes place is in Tennessee, where obviously there is no, no sea, no, no coast, so um, there are many instances in the book where Sarah does start to miss uh, where she grew up and where she came from. Uh, so find out if the woman, uh, who is Sarah, will stay with the family or if she ends up leaving the family for the various reasons that are presented in the book.